All right, it's coming onto your backs. And to start, we're simply going to work on our lower body anchor, the leg anchor. The big toes come together, the knees come together, and we're gonna keep those together as we flex the ankle. Not pointing the toes forward, pointing them up and towards your head as much as possible. So I'm squeezing the toes, squeezing the knees, and I'm turning the legs in so the heels go away from each other. Keep the toes, keep the knees, keep flexing, breathe. Always in through the nose, sometimes out through the mouth, but always in through the nose. And just keep checking those four cues, toes together, knees together, with the legs rolling in and flexing that ankle. So the heels stay as far away from each other as possible. While we're holding this position on the legs, arms straight to the side. You can have a little bit of a bend on that elbow. We're going to do internal and external rotations of the shoulder. So internal means rolling in. External means rolling out. So on the inhales, we're going to externally rotate. On the exhales, we're going to internally rotate. And you can notice I'm rolling over my palm and over my thumb. Inhale, palm down, palm up, roll over the thumb, keep the palm open, spread the fingers. And exhale. And you just find your own pace and check the legs. Ankles flexing, toes and knees squeezing, heels out, toes in, just opening the shoulders, opening the breath. How about one more? Okay. And then just slowly release, and we're going to come onto our bellies and onto our forearms. So the elbows pretty much underneath the shoulders. And we're going to basically bring the knees together and set up the legs pretty much on the same position. So I got my, my big toes touching, my heels apart. And all I'm gonna do is just bring the toes barely to touch the ground, avoid resting them there. So just kind of hovering over, bending the elbows somewhat like about 90 degrees not all the way trying to touch back towards the glutes, just about 90 degrees is plenty, and then all the way down. Keep the knees squeezing. Keep the heels apart, try to keep the ankle as flexed as you can. Just one more. And we're gonna come back onto our backs again. So same thing we just did. Set up the legs. Toes together, heels apart, ankle flex, knees squeezing. And you can check if you wanna have your knees. This might be a little too bent. So somewhere from here, say 90 degree bend on the knees all the way to almost straight, but don't drop the knees to the ground, keep them a few inches off the ground. If you want, you can have your hands on your hips, you can have your hands on your side. This time we're going to drag the heels closer and drag them far away. So again, set up the heels away from each other, big toes squeezing in, and you can just find whichever range. So you could come from 90 towards almost straight. Use your breath. We'll just do one more here. We're working the core. Last one. And we'll come again on our belly. And this time, we're gonna keep the knees bent. And you know, you can be here 
with your elbows under the shoulders, or you could also do elbows to the side and rest your forehead on your hands. That's also an option. So either way, now we're going to bend the knees and focus on keeping the feet on that internal rotation we're working with. We're going to open the right foot to the right, internally rotating the thigh and bring it back to center. Again, that same side, the heel should always be wider than the toe so that you keep the leg in. How about one more on this side? And we'll switch now. We open the left foot, moves away from the midline. Keeping the knees squeezing together the whole time. Last one. Good. And then slowly roll one last time onto your back. And we'll finish with the first exercise. So just keeping the legs together, toes together, knees together, heels apart, ankle flexed, arms to the side, inhale, external rotation, exhale, internal rotation, inhale, external, rolling over that thumb, keep the palm open, fingers spread, exhale, intern. Three more like that. Maybe one more. And then we're going to simply let the knees rest on the ground and separate the legs out for Shavasana. Palms face up, feet relax, and just breathing here, staying here for as long as you like.